Cupid's Poisoned Arrow from Habit to Harmony in Sexual Relationships is a thought-provoking book written by Marnia Robinson, published in 2009. This book delves into the intricate dynamics of romantic relationships, focusing on the biological and psychological impacts of sexual interactions. Robinson's work is grounded in the hypothesis that conventional approaches to sex, especially those emphasizing orgasm as the pinnacle of sexual experience, may actually undermine love and lead to disharmony in relationships. Synopsis. Robinson explores an alternative approach to sexuality inspired by ancient practices and modern neuroscience. She introduces the concept of careza, a method of sexual interaction that emphasizes bonding behaviors and non-orgasmic sex as a means to strengthen relationships, enhance intimacy, and maintain high levels of mutual affection. The author argues that the traditional chase for orgasm can trigger neurochemical processes that lead to satiety, irritability, and a decline in romantic passion over time. In contrast, careza aims to balance the brain's neurochemistry, fostering sustained harmony, connection, and attraction between partners. Key themes and insights. The book is notable for its comprehensive exploration of how sexual habits influence emotional bonds, personal well-being, and the overall health of a relationship. Robinson combines insights from evolutionary biology, psychology, and personal anecdotes to illustrate how the pursuit of orgasm can act as a poisoned arrow in Cupid's quiver potentially leading to a cycle of desire and disillusionment in love. A significant portion of the text is dedicated to practical advice on how couples can implement these ideas into their own relationships. This includes exercises to enhance emotional intimacy, communication strategies, and guidelines for practicing Karedza effectively. Reception and Impact Cupid's Poisoned Arrow has garnered attention for its unconventional perspective on sexuality and relationships. While some readers find the book's thesis revolutionary and a potential solution to common relationship issues, others critique it for its departure from mainstream sexual norms and perceived lack of scientific rigor in certain areas. Despite these criticisms, the book has found a dedicated audience among those seeking alternative approaches to deepen their romantic connections and improve relationship satisfaction. Its discussions on the neurochemical effects of sexual activity and the benefits of non-orgasmic practices have contributed to a broader conversation about the complexity of human sexuality and the variety of ways people can express and experience love. Cupid's Poisoned Arrow, From Habit to Harmony in Sexual Relationships by Marnia Robinson presents a compelling case for reevaluating the conventional understanding of sexual relationships. Beyond the book's main thesis and themes, there are several aspects worth considering for a deeper appreciation of its content and potential impact on readers and society. Scientific and anthropological foundations, Robinson does not merely posit an opinion, but backs her claims with an extensive review of scientific research and anthropological studies. She draws upon the work of researchers in neurochemistry, psychology, and evolutionary biology to explain how orgasmic sex affects the brain's reward circuitry, potentially leading to a cycle of addiction and dissatisfaction. The anthropological perspective sheds light on how different cultures have approached sexuality, providing a broader context for her critique of Western sexual norms, psychological, and emotional dimensions. The book delves into the psychological repercussions of adhering to the conventional orgasm-centric model of sex. Robinson suggests that this model can lead to emotional distancing, conflicts, and a decrease in relationship satisfaction over time. By proposing Careza as an alternative, she offers a pathway to greater emotional intimacy and psychological well-being, arguing that this approach can help couples overcome barriers to closeness and communication. Impact on Relationship Dynamics One of the most intriguing aspects of Cupid's Poisoned Arrow is its exploration of how changing sexual habits can transform relationship dynamics. Robinson provides anecdotal evidence from couples who have adopted Careza, reporting improvements in affection, communication, and overall relationship happiness. These stories serve to illustrate the potential benefits of reconsidering and modifying sexual practices within a relationship. Societal Implications 
The implications of Robinson's work extend beyond individual relationships to suggest a broader societal reevaluation of sexual norms and expectations. By questioning the ubiquity of the orgasmic model and highlighting its potential drawbacks, Robinson invites a discussion on how societal norms around sexuality might be contributing to widespread issues in romantic relationships. Her work suggests that a shift towards valuing intimacy and connection over orgasmic achievement could have profound implications for societal well-being. Criticisms and Controversies While Cupid's Poisoned Arrow has been praised for its innovative approach and insightful analysis, it has also faced criticism. Some skeptics question the scientific rigor of Robinson's claims, particularly regarding the universal applicability of her conclusions. Critics argue that the book may oversimplify complex neurochemical and psychological dynamics. Others express concern that the promotion of Carezza might inadvertently stigmatize those who find fulfillment in traditional sexual practices. Conclusion Regardless of the critiques, Cupid's Poisoned Arrow is undeniably a groundbreaking work that challenges conventional wisdom about sex and intimacy. Its exploration of the neurochemical, emotional, and societal aspects of sexual relationships offers a fresh perspective on how couples can cultivate deeper, more fulfilling connections. For readers willing to explore its unconventional insights, the book offers a potential roadmap from habit to harmony in sexual relationships, advocating for a more mindful and heart-centered approach to intimacy.